Welcome to our Blackboard Learn Basics for Instructors video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create folders. If you need assistance with any of this information, you can contact the online learning at niagara.suny.edu. Okay, so what I want to do right now is go into a course. And often, just like having um, folders in your filing cabinet, it would help organize your information in Blackboard to have folders inside of Blackboard. So if I go into Learning Modules, which is where most of my content is, and I decide that I want to go in and group my um, information either by assignments or tests or it could be by week, whatever I want to do. So what I want to do is I'm going to build a, um, go to Build Content. Again, make sure your online or your edit mode is on. So under Build Content, what we're going to do is we're going to do Content Folder. All right, and you're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Module 1. All right. And you can put an explanation in there if you want to. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to have it available to my users. I'm going to turn my track views on like I recommend for everything inside of Blackboard. I'm not going to set any before or after date. I'm just going to go ahead and submit it. If you don't want the students to see it right away, you can either turn it off for right now and then come back in and turn it on yourself. Or you can leave this setting on to yes, and then you could do a display after or a display until. Okay, so I'm going to submit it. Okay, and I'll see that the folder came in at the bottom. So I can grab it and drag it up to move it. Okay. And don't forget, you also can move things around by opening up the um, option to do it through the, key the keyboard. I can click on something and, and move it up in there. Okay. So there's my module. So now if I click on the module, you'll see that that is blank. So now I can go in and start adding content. So I can either add items, blank pages, um, I could put a web link in here. I could um, add a YouTube video or other content. So um, you can start building your content based on what, what you want in this folder. Okay, so that's how you go in and build a folder.